We're going to the moon to explore, and we're going to the moon for scientific discovery. Our destiny is always to go and see what's further and what's next. The moon is a stepping stone, and the moon is a place we need to learn how to live so that we can continue to go beyond. Wow, Kyle, can you believe we're actually at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, about to start 10 weeks of training and learning about NASA's Artemis mission? It's a dream. I feel like just yesterday I was a little girl laying in the grass, staring up at the stars, dreaming of someday exploring outer space. Uh, I know what you mean. It's always been- I mean, it's incredible. We're going to see and learn about all the different people, skills, and knowledge it takes to launch a rocket and send a spacecraft around the moon. And we have all of- And students all over the world are coming with us on this amazing adventure. I'm just so... Speechless. I know. Me too. But we should at least introduce ourselves. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm Kyle, mission specialist in training. When we're ready for a crewed mission, I'll be working closely with Kate to coordinate all our onboard activities, monitor things like fuel and food supply, and oh yeah, I might get to walk on the moon! You want to mention how when you're not flying planes... By the way, both Kyle and I are experienced pilots. You like to jump out of them. Or maybe your love of origami. Oh, and your Taylor Swift cover band, the Tay-Tay Tones. Okay, enough about me. I told you not to mention the band. Tell them about you, Kate. You know, your love of motorcycles or karaoke. Specifically, One Direction songs. Oh, and the sushi thing. How's that going? <laughs> That's enough of that. I'm Kate, LEGO Space Team Command Pilot. That means someday I'll get to fly our spacecraft. I'll also be responsible for the crew's safety, including Kyle and for our overall mission success. <laughs> okay, well, now you know more than enough about us. I think you can tell we're very excited to spend the next 10 weeks training and learning about space exploration and everything it takes to pull off a safe and successful mission. It is pretty amazing when you consider that thousands of people play important roles in launching a rocket, but only about four of them actually go to space. You know what would be awesome? If we had some astronaut friends who could tell us more about that. You mean if I was to look at this camera and say something like, why don't we check in with some of our friends at NASA who can tell us more about being an astronaut and all the different jobs people do as part of a mission team? I mean, yeah, but it seems like it would be weird. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kyle. It's great to see you guys getting prepared for Artemis 1, the first launch of the Space Launch System rocket. Or SLS. Which will send the Orion spacecraft around the moon. I'm NASA astronaut Nicole Mann. And I'm NASA astronaut Mike Fink. And we're joining you from Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where we work and train for space missions. Pretty cool. And like Kate said, we're joined by thousands and thousands of people across NASA who are working on the Artemis missions together, which will send the first woman and the first person of color to the moon. As astronauts, we train to live and work in space. But with the Artemis program, we're also helping design and develop the new spacecraft and the new equipment that we'll take to the moon. And Nicole, I'm excited. We're not just gonna visit the moon this time, we're gonna live there and work there, and it's gonna be so amazing. I'm glad to be on that team. Absolutely. You know, it's amazing to be part of a huge team of people all working together on different parts of this test mission. For example, we need to check and test a lot of systems and equipment, including the SLS rocket that will take us to the moon. We also need to use our, our creativity and our minds to make sure the capsule, called the Orion capsule, where we, the astronauts, will sit at the top of the rocket, is safe and secure. Let's watch this clip to learn more about Artemis. Everything is designed and tested with our most important element in mind, the astronauts. This is their deep space, human-rated spacecraft called Orion. Built in three parts, the crew module, where up to four astronauts will live and work throughout the flight, the service module, with life support systems for the crew and its own engine and fuel reserves, and a launch abort system, with engines capable of pulling the crew module to safety during launch, should anything go wrong. To accomplish the task of launching our crew in heavy payloads, NASA is building the Space Launch System, comprising of a cargo hold, an exploration upper stage, a massive core stage, and two extended solid rocket boosters. 
Altogether, this is the world's most powerful rocket, and it exceeds the legendary Saturn V of the Apollo era in numerous ways. Sitting on the launch pad, the entire rocket, fully fueled, weighs just over 6 million pounds, 5.2 million of which is just the fuel. Once ignited, there is no stopping what comes next. All four RS-25 engines and the two solid rocket boosters come to life, thundering our crew upwards. Two minutes after ignition, the solid rocket boosters are spent and released. Eight minutes after launch, the core stage is depleted and separated. The upper stage fires briefly, placing Orion into a parking orbit around the Earth. Here, the crew reconfigure the spacecraft and check systems to confirm everything is ready for deep space travel. With a go from the mission control, the crew reignite the exploration upper stage engines to leave Earth entirely. The exact timing of this maneuver is critical to reach a speed that can escape Earth's gravitational pull, but also put Orion on a course that will intersect the moon days later. Once this burn is complete, the upper stage of the SLS is jettisoned and the crew on board Orion coast for several days toward all that awaits them at the moon. Pretty cool. There are many people behind the scenes, engineers, project managers, mission control, and others, whose job it is to get us safely off the ground and into orbit. Whether it's designing the tools and vehicles we need to explore space, developing science experiments for us to conduct, or giving the all important go, go for, for launch. launch. There are amazing people doing incredible jobs at each stage of the mission. And once we are on the moon, Scientists will play an important role in uncovering the mysteries of the moon. Ooh, mysteries, right? The moon is a great place to learn about new science and a good place for humans to learn and work and live on Mars. That's our next step. And the astronaut crew on Artemis III will visit the moon's South Pole, a place where no one has ever been before. Super cool. It takes a team of diverse skills and talents to make the Artemis mission successful. And Mike and I are proud to be part of it. You know, Kate, I heard you have a pretty cool team yourselves. We'd love to hear all about them too. That's a great idea. The LEGO Space Team is made up of some of the smartest, coolest, most unique, awesome, awesome people, people we know. Maria is our flight director. She's on the ground leading a team of engineers, researchers, flight controllers, and other support personnel. She makes real-time decisions that keep us safe and successful in space. And when she's not doing that, you'll find her on the dance floor pop in and lock in with her breakdance squad, Bricks and Beats. Next is Daniel. He's our program manager. Daniel keeps all of us and the mission on track. He leads the team that does everything from project schedules to research and development, and even testing the spacecraft. All of that, and the guy still finds time to shred on the electric guitar. Then there's Avery, our team engineer. She calculates spacecraft trajectories, identifies the technology we need for the mission, and helps develop tools and equipment that allow Kate and I to do our jobs in space. Avery knows how to flex her math, science, and physics skills. But that's not all she flexes. She's currently training for the world's strongest woman competition. Up next is Leo, our safety officer. He makes sure that everything from our spacecraft to our workspaces are up to code. He's always on the lookout for anything that might endanger the mission or our team. I always feel better knowing Leo is around to make sure everything we're building and doing is meeting the guidelines and policies that keep us safe. But don't let the job fool you. I've seen Leo take a risk or two of his own. When he's not with us, you'll find him on the slopes working on his extreme snowboarding skills. Oh, we have to talk about Sophie. She's our lead scientist. She develops all the science objectives for our missions. From what kind of dirt or rock samples to take to the effects of space travel on Kate and I. Sophie loves to learn and is always thinking of new things to study. The work Sophie does will be super important in making new discoveries about our solar system, including how Earth and the Moon were formed. But it's not just moon rocks she likes to experiment with. On the weekends, she's a barbecue pit master, and her mission, cooking the perfect rack of ribs. We can't talk about Sophie's ribs without talking about her official taste tester and our ground technician, Zach. Zach does it all from designing the systems and facilities we need to build and launch rockets to operating them when it's time for liftoff. Once the rocket is in the air, though, you can find Zach on the beach looking to catch a wave. He's a total surfer, dude. That's the LEGO Space Team. Hopefully you have a good idea of who we are and what we do. 
Now, I think we should talk a little bit about the Artemis One mission that will launch in the coming months. To start, it's the first test of NASA's ability to explore deep space using the SLS rocket, Orion spacecraft, and the ground systems at Kennedy Space Center. That's right! The goal of the mission is to provide a foundation for humans to explore farther into space than ever before, and even begin looking at how we can sustain human existence on the Moon and someday Mars. Artemis II is where astronauts like Kyle and I will come in for the first crewed flight around the Moon since 1972. You can imagine that preparing for something like this comes with a lot of challenges. And that's why we're going to spend the next 10 weeks learning about the people and skills it takes to overcome them. Hey, Kyle, you know who would be great at explaining our training missions? Dr. Dr. Jenny. Jenny! I wish she was here right now. Yeah, I'd say something like, Hey, Dr. Jenny, tell us about all the awesome training missions we have coming up. I mean, that would be great if she was here, but... Hey, Kate. Hey, Kyle. How cool is this? The LEGO Space Team is part of the Artemis One mission. I can't believe it. I heard you wanted a sneak peek of what you and all our friends watching can expect over the next nine weeks of awesome hands-on training missions. I think I can help. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Jenny, and I work at LEGO Education. It's my job to create fun and exciting hands-on learning experiences for kids just like you. I can't think of anything more exciting than working with the LEGO Space Team and NASA to show you the kinds of amazing jobs you could be doing someday. That's right, I'm talking to you. You could be a NASA flight director, scientist, engineer, or even an astronaut. Build to Launch was created to show you that once you get hands-on subjects like science, math, and engineering, they're for everyone. They become fun and playful, and the more you learn, the more you'll want to learn. So get ready to tune in every Tuesday from now until November 16th. Each week, you'll meet a new member of the LEGO Space Team and some of their amazing friends at NASA. You'll learn about the work they do and the role they play in getting a rocket to space. Then you'll take the wheel and join the LEGO Space Team on a new training mission. Oh, let me tell you more about the missions. Our missions are broken into three things, getting to space, testing and transport, and working in space. Each theme includes a mission briefing and two missions. Now, mission briefings are our chance to catch up with Kate and Kyle, show off some of your cool work from previous weeks, and give you a sneak peek of what's coming next. Our friends at NASA will even answer questions submitted from students just like you. Finally, you get a mini mission to get you ready for the upcoming episodes. After that, it's time to step into the shoes of some of the incredible people who work at NASA. Missions will focus on many of the most important elements of programs like Artemis. You'll learn about everything from the importance of teamwork at all phases of a mission to how tools astronauts are using are designed. All right, let's officially kick things off. This is your first mini mission. In the next week's episode, you'll learn about autonomous vehicles like the Mars Rover and the important role they play in space exploration. Rovers are controlled by programmers on the ground who send computer codes for accomplishing a specific task. That code is just special language used to communicate directions between computers. So you can imagine how important it is for those directions to be very clear. That's what this week's mini mission is all about. It's time to start talking and thinking about the kind of directions you would give to move a specific object around. Try writing directions to move an object in the classroom or maybe your house. Another place far away, basically. It could be to another room like the gym or, or your living room. Then pair up with someone to test each other's directions. Let's keep it safe, though. You don't actually have to move anything around. Afterwards, think about your directions. How clear were they? Was there enough detail that you could have programmed a robot maybe to deliver that item for you? Write down your thoughts on the importance of clear directions for transporting objects so you can remember them when you take on that full mission next week. Oh, and remember, if you want to see your work celebrated after a mission or get a question answered on an episode, make sure someone posts it to the LEGO Education community or on social media with hashtag build to launch. Well, this was awesome. Kate and Kyle, I'm looking forward to checking in with you and the whole team along the way. I can't wait to see the progress week after week. 
See you soon. How do you keep doing that? Oh, hey, yes, thanks, Dr. Jenny. We can't wait to get started. What about all of you? Now that we've got our marching orders, will you accept this mission? Are you ready to join us on this 10-week adventure as we build to launch? See, See you, you next, next week. week.